Dexter, a fawn-colored French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Today, at the front of the line, are two lost puppies, Lana and Lucky. What seems to be the problem? Well, we want to get... We're lost. Yeah, pretty much. We live in the country. We've never been to the city. It's a jungle. Mm-hmm. One day, the kids ran out to get an ice cream. From the ice cream man in the truck. Yeah, so... We followed. We're supposed to stay in the backyard, but... We just wanted a couple of cones. We snuck into the truck, and oh, man, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, the sprinkles. Yeah, and the cookie dough. It made you sick. Eh, it was worth it. Ew. Like the orange ice cream you ate went down smooth. Whatever. Anyway, the truck started moving, and we couldn't get out, and we were stuck. Locked in completely. And the next thing we knew, the guy opens the door, we run out. Obviously terrified. Yeah, and we're in the big city. The Big Apple. We met a terrier who said to come here. He showed us the way. He was so nice and cute to boot. Be serious, sis. We're in trouble. Mr. Detective, can you help us find our way home? I miss my family. Me too. Dexter is fine. And yes, of course we are going to help you. That's right. Oh, thank you. First things first. We have got to find the ice cream truck you were on. Then we can ride the route and I'm sure we will have you back home before dinner time. Let's do it. Peanut turns to the other dogs in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going into the field? Come back tomorrow? Yep. Sorry, guys. I just need help finding my toy. Me too. Look under the sofa. Ah, yes. Brilliant idea. Dexter and the gang head down the street. Do you remember where you got out of the truck? There was grass. And a big pond with boats in it. Tiny boats. Central Park. Correct. Let's go. When they arrive, there's no truck in sight. But school isn't out yet. So the dogs wait across the street from the park. And just like clockwork, at 3 p.m., the truck arrives. Is that it? Uh, I can't see the guy. The ice cream man opens the window for his first customer. It's him! Yep, I'd recognize that blue hair anywhere. We have got to get on that truck. Come, let's wait at the back. He will open the door at some point. They wait. And wait. And wait. Then, finally, when there's no one in line, the driver opens the back. He sits down and drinks a cup of coffee. A child approaches. Excuse me, hello, mister. The ice cream man goes back inside to get the child a scoop. The dogs have their chance. They pile in and hide in the corner behind the vat of mint chip. Soon, the truck pulls onto the road. If you saw your neighborhood, would you recognize it? Yes, like the back of my paw. Good. Now, everyone, hold on. The truck shakes back and forth, but the dogs huddle tight in the corner and stay on their feet. The truck stops. Lana jumps onto the freezer to get a peek. She shakes her head. At the next stop, Lana and Lucky jump up. They both shake their heads. No. 
The truck takes off again. Lana whimpers in the corner. Uh, we'll never get home. This time, it's Lucky who jumps up. Oh! This is it! This is it! The ice cream man sees Lucky. Hey, you! How'd you get in here? Lucky, jump! Lucky jumps down. He hits the door handle with his paws and it flies open. The dogs escape from the truck just as the ice cream man tries to grab them. They run. This way! Lucky leads the way. They run and run and run and finally Lucky stops. Lana keeps running all the way to the front door. She barks and doesn't stop until our human comes outside. Thanks, Dexter. Thanks, Peanut. You are most welcome. Our pleasure. Stay safe, little ones. We will. Lucky rushes to the front porch and he's reunited with his family. They're all so happy to be together again. Come on, let's find a bus stop and get home. Dexter and Peanut walk to the bus. They hop on the back and ride it all the way across the Brooklyn Bridge. They get off at Canal Street and walk the rest of the way. Well, Peanut, another day, another case closed. That's why they call us the D-Team, because we get it done. Yes, we do. They realize they weren't the only ones. Debbie, the Doberman, is trying to get their attention. They stop, and she crosses the street. Dexter, Peanut, I need... I need your help. Of course, Debbie. What is going on? My kid lost his monkey. This big stuff thing. I chewed the ear off once. Never seen so many tears. So I snuck out to look for it. We take the same route every day. I found it easy peasy, dirty and stinky as it was. So I grab it and I'm on my way home. I hear a noise. Down an alley, there's this dog and he's eating something and humming along. And let's face it, curiosity doesn't just kill the cat. I had to check it out. Smelled so good too. So I go down there and before I know it, he's grinning and lights are flashing and the dog catcher's coming at me with a net. I tossed the monkey at him and ran. I could hear dogs inside his truck barking. Uh, and it all makes sense. It's him, isn't it? We oui. Looks like we have found our traitor in our midst. And it is no dog. It is a coyote. I have seen him too. Uh, but why does he want to catch us? I do not know. But we will find out. Come to the office tomorrow. We need a plan. I'll gather the gang. Good. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Get some rest. It will be a long week. <laughs> 